What's up? <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Boni Chama. And in this video, we'll be talking about how to know kama nyotako imibiwa. And uh, we'll also be discussing kama nyotako imibiwa, what are you supposed to do about it? Unairudisha aji, ni akina nani wanga wanaziba, zinaibiango ni kwa nini. And this video will be part of a series because in the topic nataka to discuss pole pole, mbaka kila mtu, I love it because it's a very important topic. Okay, so before to answer, I need a small favor from you. Tafadali, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need your help to get to at least 1,000 followers. Atas you lizi wengi. Nikisha do 1,000 followers, nitatosheka. Na kama ume subscribe, finya notification bell hapo chini so that uh, every video I post, unakuanga notified. Ndiyo usuwai miss any episode in this series ya kuibi wanyota. Alright, so let me give you five seconds. Ukimaliza, tuendele. So one, two, three, four, five. Very nice. So how do you know nyotako imeibiwa? But before you even answer that question, acha kwanza ni kuexplainie kwa nini nyota zo ibiwa. Now, you see the day you were born, you were not born by accident. Iyo siku enyo liku nazaliwa, iyo temu liku nazaliwa, Iyo ndo ile siku uliko unafaa kuzaliwa. Your birth was planned long before even your mother became pregnant. That's why even the Bible tells you, I knew you even before you were formed in your mother's womb. For God's will on earth to be done, wewe kuna raun uliko uple. Na iyo siku enyo uliko uzaliwe, kuna mission uliko unafaa uanze, iyo siku. And for you to be able to accomplish that mission, you had to be given a special gift, a special talent. Nyota fulani yenye itaku guide through life, itaku saidia ku accomplish your mission. Yenye itaku saidia to reach your destiny. So the reason why nyota wanga zinaibiwa is so that your destiny can be destroyed. Ile reason yenye ulizaliwa, ile mission ulileto wapa earth kufanya, usi accomplish ndiyo life yako yote ikuwe wasted. Ndiyo ile plant God alikuwa nayo kwa life yako ikuwe destroyed. And that's why your birthday is very important. Na kuna watu wengi wajuangi. In fact, let me tell you something about your birthday. Your birthday can help you understand your gift. Your birthday can help you understand your purpose. Your birthday ineza kusaidia kujua the peak years in your life. These are the peak years in Israel Miyaka you will experience the most success in your life. Zote ziko kwa bathe yako. Like, yani life yako ina kuanga imepangwa from the day you were born to the day you die. Hapa hivi katikati, ni kuhaijaki watu ina kuanga ikihaijaki wa. Hizo nunasikianga, oh, ma spiritual warfare, unafight battles kwa life welewi. Hizi battles zote zina kuanga kutuwa kwa hiyo bathe yako, enyo uluku umekewa, ikufikisha kwa destiny yako. That's why vitu kama nyota uibiwa. Because nyota inafaa kushine. It guide path yako. All the way to your destiny. So the moment it may be wa, your path becomes dark. You don't know where you are going. You don't know where you are coming from. Unenda up kukwa mtu very wasted in life. Okay? So iyo nyota yako ndo inafaa kuguide path yako. Inafaa kukwanyesha penyo unaenda. Na hiyo pathe nyo unapitia inaitua purpose. So hiyo purpose yako inafaa kukulid kwa destiny yako. Na nyota yako inafaa kukushine ikikulid mbaka kwa destiny yako. So the moment nyota yako imeibiwa, that means your destiny is being taken away from you. Ile purpose God alikuwa mekuletai dunia kufanya, au fulfill. Watu uliku usaidie, au tasaidia. Vitu uliku upate kwa hii life, auta pata. Achievements uliku ume kwa hii life, auta make. And remember that the work of the devil is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So they'll steal your nyota, they'll destroy your destiny, they'll destroy your purpose, and kill your destiny. So that is why nyota wanga zinaibiwa. And it's very important kujua kama yako ibeibiwa, so that ujue kama umetoka kwa ile path ya kukulit towards your destiny. If you're not headed to your destiny, you're headed for destruction. Are we together? 
So kujua kama nyota yako imeibiwa is something very important. Na pia kujua nyota yako ni kitu very important. And your birthday inakuanga na secrets mingi sana that can be revealed. And that is why we do readings. Tunaangalia tunaona ni nini hiyo inaweza fanya kwa njia yako. Actually hata zile mashidura pitia saa hizi tuka calculate birthday yako vizuri tufanya a good reading hizo mashida already zilikuwa nga anticipated kwa jani yako but hizo mashida zenye unapitia hata hiyo kuibiwa nyota they were not put on your path to destroy you zilikuwa zimekuwa pale to build your character so that you can be able to accomplish the mission that you are brought on this world to do so hata zile mashida unapitia <coughs> si atia ni vitu za kukumaliza no hizo ni mashida unaweza overcome uka stick kwa ile path yako original ukitumia ile nyota yako hizo ni mashida unaweza overcome so mashida zote unapitia kwa hii life ni mashida unaweza overcome as long as nyota yako iko intact so ikibiwa hata zile mashida ambazo ungeweza ku overcome hauwezi overcome kwa zile gift yako haiko and that is why wanga inaibiwa ndo upate mashida u give up uh, destiny yako ikufe so kama unataka destiny yako ku accomplish imagine uki accomplish ile kitu god aliku yani god created you to accomplish one mission na umeweza ku accomplish umesaidia watu watu ume create ile impact ulikuja kwa hii dunia kufanya watu wamekujua legacy yako watu ukikufa after 10 20 30 years watu bado watakuwa na kuongelea because you left a legacy you reached your destiny na hiyo ni kitu watu wadogo sana wanga wana happen uh, wana manage because nyota zao ibiwa from a very young age na as we talk more about history ya nyota kuibiwa we'll be discussing everything in detail ndio ujue how they ibiwa different ways zinaibiwa na, na ku break every way na ku break ya down mpaka uele okay so the reason why nyota wanga zinaibiwa is because you were born with a very special gift that was to help you get to your destiny and because your destiny was so big the devil is not happy with you accomplishing your destiny so they are trying to steal your gift and destroy your destiny do you accomplish ile mission ulikuja hii dunia ku accomplish they want your life to be wasted that is why nyota zo ibiwa so now i'm sure you're wondering ikibiwa what happens so what happens is that what you are supposed to become you cannot become you fail you become a failure in life unakuwa tu mtu life yake ainanga direction saa zote ni ma stress ma depression mpaka inafika mahali unaona life yako is so meaningless is so worthless mpaka unafikiria ku commit suicide watu unaanga ki commit suicide ni mtu nyota yake ilibiwa ma frustrations za life zikamuonyesha you are worthless akajiua mwingine mpaka ame give up na life. Yaani umefika mahali kwa hii life ume give up. Au unangi kitu mzuri kwa hii life. Marriage yako I work. Job I work. Financially I work. Au uendelee. Yaani wewe mare, yani wewe kwa life yako you only wake up, breathe in, breathe out, eat. Hata sometimes you're not eating. Like hata ujui una mkanga tu unalala tu. We uko tu hapa tu kusongesha maisha kusongesha masiku mpaka tu ile tu siku goda atakuchukua like awoni 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 kitu uko worthy of kwa hii dunia watu wanakutharau nobody sees you as important hata kwenyu wenyewe hauwezi ongea watu wa kusikize hmm? like life yako ina meaning you don't even understand mpaka hata unajiuliza uliza leo kufanya nini Unaangalia watu wengine life zao ziko poa zinaendelea vizuri lakini wewe life yako ni giza tupu nothing is happening So nyota yako ikibiwa that is what happens you get into a state of hopelessness worthlessness low self esteem loss after loss after loss una lose job una lose pesa una lose marafiki una lose familia una lose confidence mpaka wewe mwenyewe you lose your mind yani ma depression that's why unaona watu wengi sikuizi wako na ma depression 
hizo ma depression ni manyota za watu zimeibiwa because this is a very bright generation and this is a generation that had lots of missions to accomplish na shetani ataki hiyo kitu the devil wants to make the world his playing ground anataka ku corrupt dunia the devil wants evil to spread in this world so mtu yote mwenye future yake ni bright and destroy and there's so many ways to destroy and we'll be talking about all these things kuna vitu zina happen watu wajui wanaona tu ni vitu za kawaida kumbe ni nyota zenyu zinaibiwa na mjui na tutakao tuki discuss hizo vitu vitu zingine basic za kawaida unazionanga tu ziki happen but hujui so nyota yako ikishaibiwa what happens is that you feel worthless your life loses meaning because au accomplish mission yako auna purpose and because auna purpose auna satisfaction so unaanza kujaza life yako na anasa usherati you know seeking attention madaza kulevia cuz unajaribu ku feel mind yako na kitu una feel unajaribu ku feel soul yako at least uskie ni kama bado you are you're still alive cuz from the inside you're dead kuna watu wengi who are dead men walking like your soul is dead yani wewe life yako is over unaongoja tu kaburi tu uko alive but you're dead inside you are empty inside because there's no purpose and you've been taken away from your destiny that is what happens nyotako ikibiwa which is very important <coughs> which makes it a very important mission for you to protect nyotako okay tunaelewana so nani uiba hizi nyota <coughs> i told you the reason why ulipo hiyo nyota is because the day you were born kuna kitu god alikuwa anataka ufulfill kwa hii life there are great things god wanted to do you to do in this life ambazo zinge spread glory yake kwa hii dunia so nani apendi hiyo story nani apendi kuona god akiwin satan the devil is not happy so shetani ako pia na my agent wake na ako na wafuasi wake all over so through many tactics that we are going to discuss later they come and steal your gift wengine hata anawaingilia tu anawatumia kama vessels za kuiba gift za watu sometimes na upata watu wanaiba gift yako ni familia yako your husband your wife your brothers your friends what you may grow now your pastors your church politicians people you give jobs to represent you in government like in a blood from all over because a lot of people have become evil and when people become evil wanatumiwa kuibanyota za watu so kuibiwa zinazaibiwa from many direction and that's why you need to be very careful and protect your gift at all costs that's why unapata nyota za watu wengi zimeibiwa cuz waibi waibi ni wengi wengine zimeibiwa na familia zao wengine zimeibiwa na marafiki zao wengine zimeibiwa na mabosses wao wengine zimeibiwa na pastors zao wengine shetani we mwenyewe amekuingilia wewe mwenyewe ukajisabotage uka destroy nyota yako so wala watu iba nyota ama zile njia nyota zao ibiwa ziko all over so you have to be very smart you need to have something called discernment okay you need to have something called discernment intuition yako inafaa inakuambia huyu mtu si mzuri huyu mtu si mzuri hapa unachezo ukifanya hivi kitakuramba huyu mtu si genuine ni nyota yako anataka huyu mtu anakutumia hizo mawazo uko nazo mbaya hizo ndo zina destroy destiny yako so it's very important to first of all understand the basics before anza kukimbilia watu ati wakusaidia kurudisha nyota yako juu imeibiwa au nao wanaenda wanakuibia hata ile kitogo yenye ulikuwa umebakisha so it's very important kwanza to understand kuibiwa ni naibiwa aji na inaibiwa na kina nani na inaibiwa na njia gani so that you can even look back and see kule yako ilibiwa and then jutusha kufundisha vile utairudisha unairudisha wewe mwenyewe okay i don't want this video to be very long 
nataka to divide his story into a series so ni kwenye kukupata information pole 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 mbako understand the topic kabisa i want you to be in a position whereby you are able to protect uh nyota yako na kama imebiwa wewe on your own you can get it back nataka ukue wewe ni mtu uko na kitu tunaita self awareness unajielewa you know why you in this world you know why you were born on the day you were born you know the significance of the day you were born because your birth date has carries a lot of significance so usha juizo significance no no watu wengi a lot of people don't invest in themselves and that is why nyota zinaibo viraisi you don't invest in knowledge says you kikuja uniambi uniulize maswali ni kwambia ah you have to pay for consultation ndio tuweze kuongea vizuri ama ndio naweza kufanya ready utaanza kusema oh scam oh tunaibiwa lakini utaenda kwa ba ukunywe hata 10000 na itakuuma utapea beste yako pesa deni akosa kukurudishia when you don't invest in yourself you lose money in other ways so invest in yourself you're the most important person in this world and you came in this world for a very specific mission a very important mission na through your gifts and through understanding the reason why you were born unaweza jua easy vitu zote why you are here na the moment the reason gift yako inaibiwa is so that unaweza zungusha zungusho hivi uwest kila kitu yako mpaka ile siku utakufa u live a meaningless life cuz kama unajua purpose yako pesa yako yote uta invest towards your purpose kama unajua gift yako ni gani kama unajua nyota yako ni gani uta focus energy zako zote kwa nyota yako so hakuna mtu atakuwa na time ya kukupoteza njia o oh, twende tukakunywe wanakuiba nyota twende tukala eh hey, lala na huyu mtu anakuibia nyota unaingia kwa hii relationship unaibiwa nyota even your own family wakijaribu kukuibia ushajua because you've invested in yourself na umepata kitu tunaita self awareness and this is the reason why i'm doing this series so invest in yourself invest in knowledge knowledge is expensive but if you think knowledge is expensive try ignorance wajua kuna watu wasemanga what you don't know won't hurt you eh the reason unaibiwa nyota is because you are ignorant au ju nini ninaendelea you just assume that things just happen for no reason why chunga sana so staki kukupatia a lot of information ni kuchanganya akili i want us to go slowly by slowly step by step ndio mweze kuelewa so kama uko na maswali uliza hapo kwa comment after nimejibizo maswali zote twende kwa the next stage ni ku explainie pole pole mpaka understand the story all right see you in the next video